Hello and welcome to Tektronix. Today we're going to talk about how to set up a parallel bus decode. The parallel bus decode is a fairly simple and easy setup. So here we have a DPO Demo 2 board with its power supplied by the oscilloscope via our USB cable. And for this setup we're going to want to use a digital logic probe. Now as we zoom in we can see our CNT out 0 through 6 and clock pins which we want to match with our probe inputs 0 through 6 and 7, respectively. So now you can see our setup with the probe inputs 1 through 6 connected to their respective CNT outputs, and our probe input 7 is connected to the clock, and we also have the option of an extra ground connection seen here. From a default setup, we want to turn off our channel 1. Select D15 through D0 followed by D15 through D0 on off, Select Turn On D7 through D0 to display the rest of our 8 channels. Using Multipurpose A, we can select any single channel or all channels at once. Using Multipurpose B, we can position our channel or channels, which we will move to the lower half of the display. Select Bus B1 and our bus type, which is already set to parallel. Now we can define our inputs. Select Clocked Data Yes, and confirm that our clock edge is set to Rising Edge. Set our number of data bits to 7. Select Define Bits and change our clock to D7. Select Run Stop and we can use the Wave Inspector features to zoom in and pan around. We want our thresholds to be somewhere around the center of our signals. And note that thresholds do not appear like a trigger level when using digital signals. However, I know my signal's voltage range is approximately 0 to 3 volts, so 1.4 volts will suffice for this example. As always, we can edit our labels. We can edit our bus display to display bus or bus and waveforms. We can also view our decoded values in hex or binary. We also have our event table. If we turn that on, we can look at specific data values. And if we have a flash drive, we can save our event table to a file to be used in Excel, MATLAB, etc. Now if we go into our trigger menu, and select bus as our trigger type, we can trigger on various data values. Thank you for watching our video. If you'd like to learn more information about our products, please visit www.tektronics.com support.